What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang? We have lots of exciting updates to unpack today, so hit that subscribe, hit that like. Alexander Lorenzo, venture capitalist, crypto entrepreneur, asked which chain do you think has the most potential in the next bull run? Over 76% of votes went to Cardano Ada, over 1,600 votes just for Ada. Am I surprised? No, but nice poll. Moving forward, OKX, the president of OKX, talking to Charles. What have they been talking about? I like this edit a lot, the blue with the gray scale. Will we see a bunch of listings? Well, OKX is a massive name. And over in Argentina, we know that the president is super optimistic on integrating blockchain, cutting edge technology. And Charles, again, saying that it was great to see many members there. I think Avalanche, OKX, ICP, many others. So really excited to see what happens in the weeks to come especially with Cardano Summit, with Richard Tang speaking there and Binance sponsoring the summit. Cardano's Yoroi wallet to integrate Bring, earning users up to 10% ADA cash back simply by using a credit card or any other payment method at over 775 global retailers. This is a fantastic integration around the corner that will allow people to just shop at many top brands and stores and get some ADA cash back. That is great. Why not? We'll come back to Yoroi in a moment in terms of a bunch of updates they just released. Regulated LCX exchange lists Iagon, Minswap, Nuvola, Snack, and World Mobile Token. Fantastic to see more listings. Keep bringing them over. Why not? And I like this also. The first ever uh, Euro pairs for CNTs. Great to have more options for pairs. Nice to see more CCNTs listed, and I think LCX will continue to list more. I haven't used this exchange personally, but the research that I did looks like they've been doing regulation many years ago. So I like these regulated compliant exchanges. I think that's the way to move forward. Cardano's AI-driven shared storage and compute economy, Iagon, reapplies to Binance. Some people were asking, like, why reapply? Well, we know that CZ said in April that Compliance is super important. We know that Richard Tang, the CEO of Binance, has echoed the same thing. Compliance, maturity. And we know that Cardano has been set for that narrative. Perfectly created for compliance, decentralization, with the burning of Genesis keys, with the delegated wallets, with the governance. Cardano is a perfect fit. Lots of synergy with Binance and Ripple. So I think it's not... Um, Impractical to say that there will be a bunch of CNT listings on Binance sometime soon. Let's dive into a few new clips I created last night from that long one and a half hour whiteboard video. So Charles Hoskinson says, I believe we can run a nation state on Cardano by 2030. One with tens of millions of people. We can do pretty much everything. The narrative of blockchain versus blockchain is over. We're trying to live in a better future. Moreover, publications are open source, peer-reviewed, patent-free, decentralized for everyone to use. Ada's working with people in Polkadot, Algorand. We just met with Avalanche. Of course, the DREC alliance with Hedera Hashgraph, Ripple, and others. With the goal and the discussions around making blockchain more usable, interoperable, cheaper, and safer. Finally, people think, and this is a great clip, they think that move fast, break things. You know, we hear that a lot. We need to move fast, you know, fail forward. But it's about context, guys. I'm a UX designer. I know that it's about context. And he said, these are not startups. Can we risk a bug in voting? A bug in socials and your private communication gets leaked? These things concern billions of people, trillions of dollars. And he also said that whether people say it or not, blockchains are selling trust. Trust is the new currency. And Cardano Ada produces trust, excellence, objectivity. What a fantastic watch. WANCHAIN. Since the convert and burn release, 100% of the collected bridge fees have been consistently burned. So nice to see some cool burning mechanisms. Very soon you'll be able to watch the burn rate in real time. And just around the corner will be direct bridges between Solana and Cardano. So really looking forward to that. Uh, great to see bridges, especially with Rosen, the EVM integration. Vesper just dropped this today. Release 3.9.3, Swift Flow. What's new? 
Instant transfers between Vesper users. I like that a lot. Transaction chaining on all devices in parallel. Enhanced ledger and keystone support. And finally, fix some Android navigation issues. Great to see new features, quality of life, UX, UI improvements. Fantastic. Stay up to date across all platforms, Android, iOS, and web. So let's finish off with Yoroi and then we'll take a look at price. So Yoroi 5.0 is here. We're thrilled to announce Yoroi Mobile 5.0 packed with awesome new features to elevate your Cardano experience. So let's dive into this, guys. The features Mobile Dapp Explorer, exploring the growing Cardano Dapp ecosystem, browse, search, and filter through categories like NFTs, DeFi, all in the new Discover tab. Nice to see. Why not? Discovery is good. Yoroi Portfolio Manager, sort, organize, and review your assets with ease. The all new Portfolio Manager gives you full control over your holdings with a sleek, user-friendly design. Hey, I mean, I like user-friendly. Dark mode, <laughs> one of my favorite things. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you dot today. I'm looking at you. I don't know why some crypto news websites still don't have dark mode. I really like the dim mode on Twitter and I roll with dark mode pretty much anywhere and everywhere possible, most of the time. So yes, finally, one of the most uh, hotly requested features is here. Choose between light and dark themes to match your style and save your eyes. What's your preferred mode? Oh, yeah, definitely I'll go with dark mode. Why not? Network selection and deep links. Developers, you'll love this. Testnet environments are now supported with the pre-production network option, making testing more accessible. Furthermore, deep link V2, seamless dApp launches in Yoroi. Nice. Good to see. Going to be great for developers. Why not? Finally, Bug fixes and enhancements. We've improved functionality, squashed bugs to ensure a smoother experience. For all the details, you guys can check out their GitHub in more detail. And as always, everything is linked below for you guys if you want to check out anything. So price. I see a lot of paper hands on Twitter. They're like, look at the price. Look at the price. You got to zoom out and look at Bitcoin dominance being so high. When Bitcoin dominance is high, altcoin season A here. It's not that complicated. Often it's simple and people just marvel and complicate things. We know that Bitcoin global search is very low at like 16% compared to May 2021. The masses ain't here, bruh. The masses ain't here. So I think we're just going to continue to play with these prices between like 3.6. We may hover up to like 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, especially with Cardano Summit. But I don't think that there's going to be October or up November or even December. I think minimum, absolute minimum Q1, Q2 of next year. And what can we go to? I think that we can easily go past three bucks, five bucks, especially with the optimism. And some people slam Charles saying that he's way too idealistic to say it's going to get bigger than Bitcoin and Ethereum or running a nation state on Cardano. But I welcome the optimism. At the very least, we have to give credit to IOG for delivering, right? It's a resilient network. It's got the brand. It's got the narrative. We have the liquid staking. Smart contracts are here. We have a bustling ecosystem that is checking on all the metrics that we need to hit a new all-time high. So this all-time high, we were at Bitcoin dominance about 37, 8%, 38%. This all-time high, we were around 40%, 41% Bitcoin dominance. So when we're here and the price is low, yeah, I want the price to go up. We all want price to go up. But Bitcoin dominance is like getting close to 60%. So once Bitcoin dominance tumbles, it will green light altcoin season. Many alts, including Cardano, will begin to rip. We will also see that Bitcoin global search on Google around the world will begin to surge. And then we will see that delayed effect of people will be taking profits from Bitcoin, etc., into the rest of the alts and altcoin season as we know it will begin. When exactly? I think it's going to be that minimum, like I said, Q1, Q2 of 2025. And my target is that 5 to $7 range. I try to be a little bit more erring on the side of caution. But let me know, guys, what do you think about price prediction? And do you think we're going to see some more um, listings? I would really like to see OKX just list a bunch of projects. And I think we will. See Binance list a bunch of high quality CNTs, be it Iagon, be it Snack, especially Snack. They gotta list the Snack. It's a blue chip meme coin. And I think that CZ, Richard Tang, Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple, 
Charles Hoskinson, these chads have a lot in common in terms of compliance, in, in terms of DREC alliance, which is not including Binance, but there's a lot of common interests that surround compliance, regulation, and moving forward with clarity. So I think we're gonna see listings sooner than we think. Let me know what you guys think. What is your price prediction for Cardano ADA in this altcoin season coming up? Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.